there's a it was rather I think complex. I think um, part of it was that I just stopped participating, so it would be kind of a one-upmanship in terms of who would be more unkind, and so kind of stopping playing that role and then practicing, you know, actual forgiveness, you know, not holding her sins against her. And then another element was treating her the way that I wanted to be treated, you know, even, you know, regardless of how she was, she was treating me. You took the high road in your relationship. Yeah, I, Yeah, I suppose I did. Yeah. What kind, how did that um, influence your, your, your mom's behavior and your relationship? Well, at first, uh, I don't think she knew what to think about it. Uh, It was kind of disconcerting for her. Um, The second reaction was to get meaner. You know, it was almost like uh, you know, what I learned later is that these types of behaviors are, um, you know, you're you're trying to you're trying to justify your hostility by getting the other person to be hostile, and then it justifies your behavior, right? You know, uh, I only acted this way because they made me, mm-hmm. and so by not playing my part in that, she had to keep going far, you know, keep upping and upping the, uh, let's say the violence or the, uh, the cruelty to try to elicit a response. So I think it, in, in that stage, it was worse, you know, her behavior was much worse than it had been. And then strangely, I think at some point, I think she thought that we were playing a different game and she didn't want to lose that game. So then she tried to one up me in terms of kindness, which worked really well. (laughs) Um, So she was kind of doing it for the wrong reasons, but it had kind of the same effect. You know, it had the effect of changing the dynamic of the relationship. Wow. Wow. So you showed her Jesus and she wanted to win at this Jesus game. She did. She wanted to um, Jesus or me. She wanted to do it better. <laughs> That's amazing. So what do you think uh, this story says about you? I think it says a lot about God, not really me, because, I mean, I'd always played that I played my part well, you know, and this wasn't a change I really necessarily wanted. I mean, maybe at some point I did, I wanted a better relationship with my mom, but it really came about by, I was afraid, you know, I, I, I had read God's word and God's word was clear. You know, the way that you measure other people is the same way you're going to be measured, you know? And so if I was, if I required perfection from my mom, the Lord was going to require perfection from me. And, um, I didn't, I didn't want that consequence. You know, I was trying to avoid that. Um, I think, like I say, I think what it says is, is about what God's capable of, because I had been just like her for most of my life. I mean, we're talking about 19 years old or so. So those are some pretty ingrained behaviors that I had too. So I I love how you, reflected the fact deflected that it was um told you more about what what it says about god but even that answer goes back to your humility your teachability and your forgiveness which is possible only through the lord yeah yeah, you know, it's you know, this is a, this is a tricky thing for a Christian. What do I take credit for? The good I want to do, I do not do that which I hate. I do. I can take credit for the bad things, the sinful right. things that I do. God gets the credit for the sanctification, for the changing. So maybe the best I can do is say, God living in me. You know, uh, the new man that God is creating. Yeah, that was um, 
I took, I had to take a lot from her and um, that was something. And, um, you know, to be able to, to be kind in the face of immense cruelty is very, um, it's, it's something that a lot of people can do. Yeah. You've been through a unique set of circumstances and you've shown that you're pliable and capable. Uh, so what do you, what did you learn about yourself that you can use to help you overcome future challenges? So applying what you learned with your, with your mom. It was a, it was a really pivotal, I think pivotal moment in my life. Um, where I learned how to, um, I learned about the power of love, you know, just how powerful love is to change people. I also learned that the opposite, a really sad, sad thought, the sad thing that I realized was that <clears throat> I had withheld love from my mom for many, many years. And um, what I realized is that when I started loving her again, she started growing as a person. And that was heartbreaking, you know, to realize that my mom's personal growth as a person was stunted because her son had refused to love her. You know, she could have grown. She could have, she could have been in a lot better place if I had learned how to do that sooner. And, um, and so again, I think that's another really important lesson I learned was just the power of love. That love is, is the, is the fuel for change in other people's lives. 